we know that all cancers are caused by somatic mutations. These are mutations, changes in DNA, that are occurring in every cell of the body through the course of a lifetime. And we're beginning to know quite a lot about what the consequences of those mutations are. But actually, we have a really rudimentary understanding of what is causing those mutations in the first place. Because after all, the things that are causing those mutations are the causes of cancer. So we undertook this study in order to understand more about the causes of these somatic mutations which underlie all cancers. We took over 7,000 um, cancers from around the world um, of 30 different cancer types and we essentially looked for any evidence of mutational signatures in all of these cancers. It's the first time where we have used a mathematical concept to try and extract as much uh, information about what has gone wrong in the cancers, why the cancer has developed in the first place. We have known for quite a while that there are certain carcinogens that cause cancer. An example of such carcinogens is ultraviolet light, which is associated with skin cancer, such as melanomas. The thing we, we have known about this mutagen is that it has a very specific pattern of mutations. So when we talk about mutation of processes, we talk about the things that cause mutations. When we talk about mutation of signatures, we talk about a specific pattern of mutations caused by that mutation of process. Each process will leave its own distinctive mark or imprint or signature in the genome, and it leaves an imprint of mutations. So that's what a mutational signature is. A mutational signature is the imprint, it's the, the evidence left behind of some mutational process that has occurred during the development of the cancer. So we were able to identify 21 distinct mutational signatures. Uh, these mutational signatures explain the majority of mutations. In fact, about 97, approximately 97% of mutations could be explained with these specific signatures. The 21 mutational signatures varied in, in uh, how much they were present in different cancers. Some signatures were shared across different cancers. Some signatures were specific to certain cancers. And there were one or two signatures which surprisingly were extremely common across um, you know, more than half of the cancer types. One of the most unexpected processes that we found um, was one that was previously found in breast cancers. And what was most interesting about it was that we found it in many different cancer types. So not just breast cancers, we found it in 16 out of the 30 different cancer types. Um, it's present in something like 20% of the data set. Um, and it's just incredibly common. And we speculated that it is from a family of enzymes called Epobex, which are present in human beings and have evolved to be able to restrict viruses, to kill viruses, to prevent viruses from replicating in humans. It's essentially a DNA mutator, but it's a double-edged sword. It can mutate viruses and it can probably cause mutations to generate cancers. This research could tell us quite a lot about the history of the cancer genome. We can examine the genome of a cancer cell as an archaeological record. This archaeological record bears the imprints of all the mutational signatures that have been operative in this patient since the very first division of the fertilized egg that the cancer cell came from. So looking at the cancer genome could allow us to better understand the mutational processes throughout the lifetime of the patient. Well, we've been aware really for a number of years now that mutational processes can leave their mark on the human genome in terms of the patterns of somatic mutations. This study is first of all the largest analysis to date of cancer genomes with 7,000 cancer genomes aggregated together for analysis. And this is the first comprehensive overview of the mutational signatures that are operative in human cancer.